You are recording. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Mother Goose or Tales for Tots program. I am Mother Goose at other times, <clears throat> but here we go. I'm so glad that you joined us today, and I hope the caregivers sit with us and uh, support the program and give your child a very rich experience. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. <clears throat> For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. Well, last week, there was a big celebration of all our veterans, all our soldiers that have kept us so safe. And one song that we sing in nursery school was Yankee Doodle. And this is all a salute to our soldiers, okay? So can you help me, huh, Yankee Doodle? And what is this? Is this the American flag? I think it is. And here we go. And he had a pony. A pony is a small horse. So here we go. You gonna help me? And you can sort of jog along as if you're on a horse too. Okay, go. <clears throat> Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony. Took a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Absolutely. Come on, let's do that one again. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Hey, I hope you all drawn me out. Huh? That's why we want the caregivers around. That's important. So there's the Yankee Doodle. <clears throat> now, there's another big holiday coming up too. And that happens to be Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving is when we all get together with our families usually <clears throat> and have a wonderful dinner. And of course, one of the turkey, one of the birds that are around here are turkeys. They live here where the first Thanksgiving uh, ever took place. So here we go. We most, most certainly want a turkey, right? So I think I'm gonna start cooking for Thanksgiving right now. And let's see now, what shall we do? First, I have to get a turkey, right? Oh, you know, so here we go. I've got a big spoon. I'm gonna go out and look for a turkey in the forest. You think I'll find one? Oh, five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in a tree. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. And that's why we're here, so you see. Oh, they hid, they hid up in the trees. I didn't see them. Nope. Oh, five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in a tree. When the cook came around, we couldn't be found. And that's why we're here, you see. Well, I guess we'll have to have peanut butter and jelly, huh? do you think? Or maybe I better go to the store and get a turkey. I think that's a better idea. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's see. You know, we have, we have Wizzy Wizard with a wonderful tip for us today. <clears throat> and with this tip, <clears throat> one story, Henny Penny comes to mind. Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Foxy Loxy. <clears throat> Changing the beginning of the sounds of words helps children understand that words are made up of sounds. So Foxy Loxy, Goosey Lucy, Henny Penny, Turkey Lurkey. Uh, that's a sort of rhyming and um, uh, fun uh, word play that we uh, <clears throat> help the children with their language development. And this will help them when they need to sound out words. We can mix in word play when we talk to our children. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you'll, you'll look through uh, this program and you'll see a lot of that sort of thing. Like uh, when we go hunting, hunting, we will go with the same sort of um, uh, exercise. Well, I'm a turkey. Well, I'm not, but let's see who is. I am a turkey by Jim Arnonsky. And look at that turkey. He's a big bird, isn't he? <laughs> oh boy. Huh. 
And that says, I'm a turkey. There he is running away from me. I'm a turkey, they call me Tom. I have a turkey a dad and a turkey mom. There they are. I have a turkey brother and a sister too. I'm part of a flock of 102. Everyone. <clears throat> when you live in a flock of that many birds, you've got to communicate, but not with words. We use words, right? How do they communicate? That's talking to each other. How do they talk? We putt and we peep and squawk and squabble. Talking turkey. Go, go, go. A, big, a great big bird weighing 15 pounds. Wow. Take, take some time getting off the ground. Oh, it does. You have to really keep working until they get up there in the air. I flap my wings and toward heaven and aim toward heaven and take off slowly like a Boeing 747. And there's the plane up there. Oh, 50 miles per hour over the treetops. Oh, that's very fast. Once they get going, you know being a turkey has its ups and downs. We're big and strong. We strut around. Look at that Tom. He thinks he's just terrific. He puffs up his feathers. So he looks even bigger. <laughs> but we must be careful. Can't be hasty, because <clears throat> lots of critters find us tasty. Oh, look, look at that fox. Oh, boy. And what about the cook that came out? Hmm? Yeah, <clears throat> that makes us wary. I'm always on the lookout. There we are hiding. Oh, in the trees, of course. What's that in the bushes? Over there, anyways. Oh, I think it's a couple of birds. But I've got to be careful. I've got to watch out for those <clears throat> critters. But not to worry, we keep surviving. And our <clears throat> numbers keep on multiplying. Oh, boy, there are a lot of them around here. When I was a little girl, we had very few turkeys up here in the Northeast. Now they're plenty. They're even in my own backyard. The very next turkey that you see might be from my flock. It might be me. No, well, he's a Tom. So I can tell by all the waddles and the way he struts his tail. And make a gobbling sound so I know it's you. I'll answer back with a gobble or two. We'll be talking turkey. Gobble, gobble. And a few years ago, I opened up my front door and walked away. And who should look back at me but a lady turkey. She peered right into my living room. She was standing on my doormat. And I went to get a camera and too late, she ran, ran away. That was so much fun. Well, now let's go hunting. We could go find a turkey, huh? What do you think? I think I've lost my turkey, here she is. Oh, hunting we will go, hunting we will go. We'll catch a turkey and feed him beef jerky and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, hunting we will go. <coughs> we'll catch a skunk, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> and put him in a bunk. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a snake and put him in a cake. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a goat. Is that a goat? And put him in a boat. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a mouse and put him in a house. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a pig and put him in a wig. What's a wig? It's a pretend hair. There we go. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a lamb and put him in a pram. What's a pram? Baby carriage. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a bear, a bear, and put him in underwear. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a dinosaurs and put him in the chorus. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll just pretend. And in the end, we'll always let them go. Oh, of course we will. Well, it seems to me as though this is a great time for popcorn. What do you think? Well, should we do <laughs> make some popcorn? I've got a big kettle. I'm going to get a fire outside. <laughs> Maybe we can make it right over the, the fire pit. How's that? There. How do you make popcorn? We pour the oil in the pot and the oil gets hot. You pour the corn in the pot and the corn goes. Can you read that with me? Come on. You pour the oil in the pot and the oil gets hot. You pour the corn in the pot and the corn goes. I met a turkey gobbler when I went out to play. Oh, Mr. Turkey Gobbler, how are you today? Gobble, gobble, gobble. That I cannot say. Don't ask me such a question on a Thanksgiving day. Pretty worried, isn't he? I would think so. I met a turkey gobbler when I went out to play. Oh, Mr. Turkey Gobbler, how are you today? Gobble, gobble, gobble. That I cannot say. <clears throat> Don't ask me such a question on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, poor thing. I don't blame you. Let's go hide you somewhere, shall we? <clears throat> the turkey is a funny bird. His head goes wobble, wobble. And all he knows is just one word, and that is gobble, gobble. Now, this is just a toy, right? But that's a real sound. That's a real sound of a turkey. If you hear that when you go out in the woods collecting your leaves, you'll know what bird it is. Huh? The turkey is a funny bird. His head goes wobble, wobble. And all he knows is just one word. And that is gobble, gobble. That is pretty funny, isn't it? <clears throat> that is really funny. <coughs> <coughs> well, who has seen the wind? Well, remember we talked about that. We can see what the wind does, right? Remember it blew all those people's things all over the all over town. It blew the leaves away, right? But we don't see the wind, we just see what it does. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you, but when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I, but when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Can you pretend you're a tree with leaves that are trembling? 
one, do this with me. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither I, <clears throat> you nor I. But when the leaves, when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Right. <clears throat> well, let's see what this next book is. Leaf Man. <clears throat> well, I see a lot of leaves here. <clears throat> but do you see a leaf man? I don't. <laughs> no. But if what, if what if what if the wind blew some of them over and and sort of blew them like this? Now I bet you see a leaf man. Do you? Mm -hmm. You see leaf man now? Huh? And that's what this book is. Lois Alert, Leaf Man. <clears throat> <clears throat> Look at all those different kinds of leaves. They're from all different trees, right? Different trees have different leaves, different colors. Leaf man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. You see him? Huh? I see something that looks like a little man. <clears throat> you have to use your imagination. <laughs> but yesterday the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. Oh, he's gone. I think I see a little squirrel though. What do you think? Last time I saw him, he was headed east past the chickens. Do you see some chickens? I do. <laughs> Toward the marsh over the ducks and geese, a leaf man's got to go where the wind <laughs> blows. Now look very carefully and see if you can pretend the there's ducks, I see two ducks and two geese. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. Look at that. Those leaves certainly do look like vegetables, right? <clears throat> he flew over the turkey. Ha ha, look at that turkey. That's pretty clever. <clears throat> Pass potatoes, carrots, and cabbages in rows. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a garden? Mm -hmm. Very beautiful garden. <clears throat> then he blew out of sight. <clears throat> Excuse me. As he drift as is he drifting west above the orchards? Look at that. Those are fruit trees, orchards, but they're really just leaves, right? Just a picture. Orchards are groups of fruit trees. Or over the prairie meadows, look, everything is brown, the same color. Over oh, And past the spotted cows. Well, leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. There are the cows. Just leaves that look like that, right? Just leaves. And now they start floating on the, on the water, don't they? <clears throat> Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. I see something that looks like a turtle and a fish. Do you see that? Huh? Those are leaves, different shapes, different colors. Or flying along the river. Oh, look at those leaves. I'm going along the river flow, and some of them look like fish, don't they? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Following butterflies going south, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. And look at those leaves. They do sort of flutter sometimes in the, and look like butterflies. 
he might even be traveling north above tree above leaves that look like him. It looks like a, um, a mountain scene of beautiful fall foliage in October. Or flying over mountains with a flock of birds. And look at those birds. Kind of look like geese. <clears throat> when leaf man looks down on earth, is he lonesome for a home? This I do know. Where a leaf man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. I see a turtle there. You see a turtle down here? <clears throat> Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. And there he is upside down. So I hope on a beautiful day like this, you'll go out and travel around in your yard or maybe in the park and find some leaves that haven't been blown away yet by the blowers. But look at those, all those beautiful leaves that are out there waiting for you to discover. Maybe you can take them home and, and make a picture, huh? Make a beautiful picture with some of those colors. <clears throat> well, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> we have the ABC song, but you know something? I'm not sure I want to put this up yet. Let's see. <clears throat> you know, maybe I'll read my book first. <clears throat> what the moon saw. What the moon saw. And that's a, <clears throat> a moon. And it, it, <clears throat> we only see part of it, right? Because the sun only shines on this side of it. And when I read it to myself a few <clears throat> days ago, I, I thought, well, gee, the moon can see everything. It's in the sky. Sometimes we can see it during the day. It's kind of pale, hard to find on a bright sunny day, but it's there. But here, this is a great book of opposites. This is by Brian Wildsmith, <clears throat> What the Moon Saw. And look at, and look at what the sun looks like in this book. All those beautiful rays of sunlight <clears throat> the moon was complaining to the sun that she had never really seen the world that lay below. Well, maybe because she's so pale that she didn't think she could see that well. <clears throat> I, said the sun, have seen everything and I will show you some of the many things to be found here. Oh, that is a city. It has many houses. There is a village. It has few houses. Many, few. <clears throat> This is the outside of a house. And this is the inside. <clears throat> if you look through the window, you can see the inside. Someone's sleeping in bed, I think. <clears throat> look further and you will see a big forest. And in it is a little flower. Can you see that teeny flower? <clears throat> Here we look at a dog from the front. And here from the back. That's his back. This elephant is a heavy beast. But this bird is very light. The leopard's coat is patterned 
with spots. The mane of the lion is plain. It's spotted and plain. <laughs> Here is a fat yellow hippopotamus. And there is a thin lizard. A feathered pelican. They have feathers. And a furry llama. Yeah. Llama doesn't have feathers, right? Birds have feathers. But giraffe's neck is long. But the raccoon has a short neck. Look at the fierce tiger and the timid rabbit. A weak kitten and a strong bear. <clears throat> when running the cheetah is fast But the tortoise is always slow. <clears throat> Isn't that all wonderful to see, said the sun. How lucky I am. I believe there is nothing I haven't seen. Yes, there is, answered the moon. Every night I see something which you have never seen, nor ever will, the dark. Look at that, the dark. <coughs> well, let's put the, let's put the ABC up. know your ABCs? Those are all the letters that are <clears throat> part of the words that we use, right? So we have to learn our ABCs before we can read. ABC. Here, help me sing, please. Here we go. <clears throat> A, B, C, D, E. Oh, look at that F. Oh, my goodness. F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Come on, everybody. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Good job. Good job. Well, let's see what we can do. The sun also never saw the stars, right? I put the stars somewhere. I have no idea where I'm doing them. I wonder if they're under here. Oh. I've buried the stars. Oh my goodness me. How silly is that? <clears throat> well, we'll just have to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star without pretend it's a pretend it's a um good goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Oh, the stars are just hiding here, giving me a hard time. Well, <clears throat> let's get them out, shall we? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Can you, can you sing that again with me? 
and get those stars way up in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I think it's time for our bye-bye song. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so we say bye-bye to the leaf man. So bye-bye to the leaf man. There you are. <clears throat> bye-bye to the leaf man and the moon. And bye-bye to the sun too. Bye-bye to all the pretty leaves. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the little lamb that we put in a pram. And bye-bye to all our friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Enjoy this beautiful day up here in Rye, New York. And I hope it's beautiful where you are, too. Bye-bye. <laughs>